Hello, it's Haley, and by the time you're watching this screencast, I'm sure this tornado warning will be quite out of date. But we've got an active tornado warning as I speak in Alabama. Let's see if it was radar indicated or spot confirmed. Thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. Now, I have to say, oh, and this is where it says it in case you didn't see that in the text, it doesn't matter if it's spot confirmed or not, you take cover. You know, because even if it's not spotted confirmed, it could drop one in a second. And you don't want to be the first house that it drops the tornado on and you get hurt or killed or maimed or whatnot. Because you were like, hey, I'm going to wait to see if humans saw it. So this is base reflectivity, which is what you traditionally see. It measures precipitation in the air, I think. Well, not measures it, but it's like bouncing, it's the Doppler thing, right? It bounces off thingies, waves, I have no idea what it bounces off. And then, you know, it bounces back and it can measure that somehow because of the Doppler effect, I assume. But it can also pick up like swarms of birds, but I'm sure that's not a huge swarm of bird. And then in tornado times, what's more interesting to look at is base velocity and storm relative velocity because you can capture things like this where there's an obvious rotation couplet, and I think there's another term for that, but I don't remember what it is at the moment. But we'll move on to the rest of the screencast, and so we'll talk about who's in a tornado watch. We've got two areas as, when I, as of when I looked. So, most recent earthquake, northern Alaska, strongest earthquake today, 5.0 in south of Java, Indonesia. And check this out, 0 0.1 in Washington, so... You know, Washington, they're supposed to get a huge tsunami one of these centuries, maybe this one, maybe the next, I have no idea. They always say that, they're overdue for an earthquake, aren't they? Because everybody is probably overdue for an earthquake at this point. High temperatures today, if you're in this area, not very high at all. And then we've got the appearance, I think this is the first time we've seen white. So negative 10, so negative 18, according to that, negative 16 looks like very cold. Basically, let's go over this. This is winter here. Yeah. Right, winter there, that's like a border of a freeze warning. Oh, and a hard freeze warning. So freeze warning down there, hard freeze warning. Okay, let's see if I remember the difference. Freeze warning, it was going to like freeze for night or something. Hard freeze was like a guaranteed crop loss. So there would be lots of damage because I think it was going to stay frozen for quite some time. So if you can't protect if you can't bring your outdoor plants inside, they are, a lot of them are going to suffer. So that would be where the tornado warnings are. And it looks like we've got winter stuff up there too. Winter weather advisory. So we move on to here where we can see heavy snow is possible in New Mexico and Arizona today. Here's your severe thunderstorm area. Well, we'll move on to this where apparently it's the tornado watches. Got one for a oh, whole bunch of states, Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Mippa, Pippi, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. So all of these areas. Now, if you, well, even when we can go here. See, this is just the, what is it? The, I can't think, this is a generic polygon. Whereas if you go down here, you can see the actual county outline. See, and you've, in very faint shape, they've got the polygon on there. The, well, I can't think of what it's called. It's, polygon is a word, but there's another word. Parallelogram might be what I'm looking for, not that that mattered. So, today's severe thunderstorm type areas, 15% chance of winds. Apparently hail is not a huge threat with these storms, but 5% chance of a tornado. So if we look at this, here's your probabilities of severe wind happening, probabilities of severe hail, probabilities of a tornado, because any tornado is severe, frankly, right, 5% and then a 2% chance around it, but tomorrow, back to nothing, and then green for the rest of the time, let's see, let's see, December 25th, that'd be, so day four is now uh, Christmas, day four is Christmas, that was helpful, day four to day eight, so at the moment, potential too low, so probably not going to have a tornadic a tornado, oh, come to me, a tornado Christmas. I'm not sure if there's been one. We should, oh, I should look that up. So, yes, if you are in the severe weather watch, I mean the tornado watch areas, 
Oh, and if you don't know the difference, tornado watch means conditions of conditions are favorable. Tornado warning means one has either been sighted, spotted, depending on the word you like to use, or it's radar indicated, meaning it's happening now, baby, and you should take some shelter. Tornado watch means means is, that's not the word. Tornado watch means you should pay attention to the weather, you should make sure that your weather radio is operating, has batteries, etc, etc, and that you should potentially modify your travel plans so that you can be near shelter at any time. Right, so, hope you're not in the affected area, but if you are, I hope you're paying attention to your local news and your weather radio and such. And you can stay tuned to Wicked Wix, W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X dot com for additional information. And of course, tomorrow we'll talk about how it's code again, because that's what it would be. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day.